Yes, sir. This is indeed a free unofficial translation. Because Nintendo was like, you know what? We're not going to localize this game at all. Anyways, what is up, my good people? The name is Pixel Love, and we are back with another episode of Mother 3. This is actually the first episode of Mother 3. If any of you guys have been living under a rock for who knows how long, first of all, how did you manage to find me? Second of all, yes, this is the last of the last game of the Mother Trilogy that I'll be playing. I've been playing... Er I just finished Earthbound. I finished Earthbound Beginnings a while back. So it's only natural that I want to play the last final game. The only problem with this is that, as I mentioned before, there technically isn't a localization of it. So for now, I'm using this ROM, which is an official English translation. I guess unofficial. Doesn't matter. I still wanted to play the game, and play the game, I will. Fuck, am I bleeding? No, I'm not. Alright, now that we got that out of the way, just had to clean up something really quickly. Don't worry about it. It's none of your business. Let's get on to this business, however, which is the game of Mother 3. Younger twin brother, a gentle boy. You know what we gotta do. Don't care. We're going with the official ones. Got our boy Lucas. The older twin brother, an energetic boy. Wait a minute, how the f how the fuck is how the fuck can a twin brother be older or young and or younger? Anyways, what was his name? Klaus, I think. Strong, kind, and dependable father. We got my boy Cole Cassidy over here. I mean Flint. Hello, I'm pressing the A button. There we go. The beloved mother! Inawa. Interesting. That's probably the most Japanese name we've heard so far. The brave and smart dog. Hey yo, is that my boy King too? <laughs> King Jr.? No, it's Boney. What's your favorite homemade food? Right, so with Nintendo it was prime ribs. With Ness it was steak. What's what's Lucas's favorite thing over here? What pulled pork? Omelets? Come on, G. Lucas, go. What's your favorite thing? Should I do PSI gaming? <laughs> no, I I can't I can't. I've gone too far with going with don't care. Love. I am called Pixel Love, so. Makes sense. Yes, sir, we're finally starting this. Uh, tech speed, fast, you know what we always have to do. Uh, let's go with some. Banana looks really good, not gonna lie. Melon, banana. They, they, they both look. They both look pretty fine to me, but I cannot do my boy Mint like that. Mint all the way. Yes, sir. This is in fact okay. That did not sound okay. That sounded like my fucking audio is dying. Welcome to the world of Mother 3. I just say for a Game Boy Advance game, the audio sounds pretty banging right now. It's a banger right now. The Nowhere Islands. <laughs> cool. We're in the actual middle of nowhere. Tazmili Village. Is that supposed to be our Annette? Is that supposed to be our Podunk? Beyond the Sunshine Forest. Also, I really hope the audio isn't too loud because this thing was blasting my ears as soon as I started. As soon as I booted it up.
home of Alec, Hanawa's father. A grandpa. Lucas, how long are you gonna sleep? Get up so we can play. Get up already. The Dragos brought their babies over. They're really cute. Hurry up. Alright, so we got my boy Lucas here. Am I supposed to press something? There we go. Damn. I really am playing Mother 3 now, aren't I? Goods, equip, status. Interesting, interesting. Already has PSI powers, as we can see from his max PSI power points. That is... Mm. Sleep? What the f- Put the game in sleep mode. What does sleep mode do? Actually, I don't want to do that yet. <laughs> no problem here, no problem here. Wait, minute, what the fuck is up there? God damn it. Can I not reach it? The same bed head as always. A real wood burning stove. Wait a minute, the, the stove burns wood? This entire place is made out of wood. Also, is there still no fucking run button? Damn, that's... That's sad. Hey, what's good, Mom? Hello! Good morning, Mr. Sleepyhead Lucas. Klaus has been up for a while playing with the Dragos. Damn, Lucas re The fireplace is nice and clean. Lucas really is living like the very humble life. Everything here is just made out of wood. I I don't know what the fuck Ninten was living out of, but that's definitely looked like he was living in like your average like 90s home or whatnot. Are you planning to play in your pajamas? Scoot upstairs and change your clothes. Can I say no? <laughs> and you can stay inside in your pajamas for the rest of your life. Fine. So what the fuck is happening with their mouth? I don't think that's supposed to be normal. I hope I'm not the only one seeing that. Yes sir! I look like Jimmy Neutron now. <laughs> Looking handsome. Damn straight! My boy Lucas is about to pull all the bitches! You're much manlier now. Go have fun. Yo, why does he look like the fucking photography man? Oh, it's Alec! Oh, you're up, sleepyhead. Well, today's the day you head back home. I'm gonna miss you guys. Fuck. Let me look at the goddamn trash can. All cows, no matter what they're thinking, go moo. It'd be handy to remember that. What the pig next to me says worries me. Don't worry about it. <laughs> what the fuck? It's like how I tell my it's like how I tell my friends, don't worry about it, and they're like, that still worries me. What the hell? There's still no fucking run button here. Fuck! You're awake, Cluck? You're- you late, Riser. Yo, this unironically actually looks a little bit more cleaner than Earthbound. The animations do seem a little bit more fluent. And again, this is a Game Boy Advance game. The story is a series of memories. Memories are remembered with other memories, and in turn, become memories themselves. If you don't care, if you don't take care to preserve your memories, you'll forget them. So please tell us frogs your memories of everything so far. This is what people refer to as saving. Now then. Do I really have to save my games with frogs? What 
the hell? That doesn't sound normal. Please be careful out there. Give my regards to the next frog you meet. Alright, so I can either go down there. I, I can either go to the right of there or I can go down here. There are ants at your feet. You might accidentally step on them, so don't continue that. To what do you mean? What do you mean? You might accidentally step on them, they're fucking ants! Who cares? Holy shit! Oh, <laughs> what's with the guy on the right? <laughs> Look at his face! Phew, I'm beat. I've been play fighting with the dragos all morning. You should play too, Lucas. Uh, he is my quote-unquote older younger brother, so... I can't say no to playing around. Here, try ramming into a Drago. Close! Lucas still doesn't know how to ram into things yet. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Lucas! Try to imagine a thing called a B button, then hold that B button for a second and then let go. Doing this will let you dash. And by using dash, this dash ability, you can ram into that Drago there. Klaus, show him an example. <laughs> yes, just like that. It's now your turn, Lucas. Give it a try. I don't know why, but I'm liking these Dragos. You'll never succeed with such a sullen look on your face. That holds true for anything. Just relax. Alright, so you said hold down on the B button. I didn't even move forward. I just like I just let go. The harder you run into them, the more the dragons like it. Move it! Out of the way! Make way for the green mole cricket! I can't just sit idly when I hear someone's play fighting! I'm gonna wipe the floor with all of you! Get in my way and you're in for a world of pain! Oh, excuse me? I'm sorry you can't do j jack shit! Uh, run guard goods. Sure, I'll bash. Sir. I guess because this is on the handheld, this obviously looks a little bit more simplified. At the very least, I'm not getting my ass beaten to me. <laughs> Even then, this man still was awful. Lucas and company earned two experience points. I see you have more of a spine than I thought. If you'd like, I could train you personally sometimes. Next time we'll meet, it'll be at the big Mole Cricket Hole Stadium. I look forward to seeing you there. Bro. Wait, I didn't get to read the bonus! Fuck! And the worst part about it is that I can't go back! I promised myself I wouldn't use the power of space and time, and I am going to hold true to that. I stepped on the mole cricket. <laughs> I hope it's all right. Lunch is ready, everyone. I made you your favorite, boys. Omelets. Ooh, lunch, lunch, omelets. You too, Dad. And my boy Alec over here looks like he's a photography guy. Now then. Listen folks, here's how to save. Talk to frogs. This, this is how you save. It's not too tedious or troublesome, so you should talk to frogs as often as you can. Plus, saving is absolutely free. Now then, it's time for me to return to the story. Yo, can you imagine if like somebody charged you to save your game? Hey, wait for me! You saved me some omelets too, I hope! What's 
your favorite food, Mom? Oh, omelets? Then your favorite is the same as ours! We make a good match! After we're done eating, we need to get ready to go home. We have to go through the forest to get back, so we'll need to leave early. Don't be silly. I bet the kids can make it here on their own. It's that safe. I bet even you can handle it, Lucas. <laughs> Dear Flynn, just like you said they would, the children have been running around the mountains and fields tirelessly since the moment we arrived. Klaus is as daring and full of energy as, el as ever, while Lucas is still a bit coddled, but neither one seems tired of playing at all. My father seems sad to say goodbye to his grandchildren after seeing them for the first time in so long, but we should be home by this evening. I had forgotten how nice and refreshing the mountain air is. We are always covered in the smell of sheep back in Tasmili village, so I really wish you could have been here to take in this air. The next time we visit, Let's ask one of our neighbors to tend to the sheep so we can all come up here as a family. Klaus, Lucas, and I were always thinking about you. When we get home this evening, I'll start cooking some of your favorite omelets right away. With love, your dearest Hanawa. Aww. That's sweet. Wish somebody wrote me a letter like that. <laughs> but no one will. That's the sad reality of truth, people. Oh shit, messenger bird, let's go! <laughs> uh, what was that? <laughs> what was that? Don't tell me. More aliens. Gygus! Mother 3, ladies and gentlemen! And that's the end of the episode. No, I'm just kidding. It's quite the logo, actually. Metal and wood. Alright, I really don't want to, like, rush through this. So, like, I'm going to try my best, like, not at all to press the A button whatsoever. Because there's also the possibility that I just skip some dialogue. As mentioned before... I can't really turn back the the clock. What the hell is that? Oh shit. <laughs> Why are you just dropping random bombs everywhere? Who are they for? Oh no! Dickhead! I'm already having enough problems as is for the fucking global warming and shit like that. I don't need to make. I don't need people like you to make it worse. Chapter 1, Night of the Funeral. Wait a minute, whose funeral? <laughs> oh, this guy is running fast! Flint! 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 It's a fire! A fire! A fire! The Sunshine Forest is on fire! And a huge fiery, flamey fire! Sure, we got Jesse McCree here. Like, oh shit, I'm actually controlling him. It's Flint! Oh, he doesn't have any PSI. Let's look at his status. 
ordinary hat, brute force. Focus. Wait a minute. He has skills, but he doesn't even have PSI. Okay, that's interesting. A fireplace and firewood. <laughs> I don't know why. Well, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. That that's actually the firewood. I was like, I don't know why, but that just looks like a bunch of like. Those books look like a bunch of wood, but it is just wood. Ah, hold your horses, Thomas. You can take a nap on this bed. Take a quick... Yeah, let me take a quick rest, you know? Fuck whatever Thomas is doing. I just want to take a quick rest. Also, you're fully revitalized. I, underst I understand... A machine for spinning wool. I understand if, like, Flint and Hanawa share a bed. But Klaus and Lucas share a bed as well? I don't know. I feel like they should at least have their own bed. Alright, Thomas, I hear you, for God's sakes. You gotta do something quick! Flint! It's the forest! The forest! The forest! The forest is on fire! Jeez! Who would lock their door in a village as peaceful as ours? Flint! Ah! The doorknob. My G, did you take off my doorknob? Fuck you! You're gonna pay for that, you know? Why'd you have to come off at a time like this? Ah, turn up! I mean, Flint! This is no time to be dozing off. There's a huge fire in the Sunshine Forest. Bad times like this call for reckless nice guys like you. Please come, Flint! Please! Uh, what if I said no? Then I'll just have to drag you there myself. <laughs> Let's go! I'll follow behind you. <laughs> what? What's wrong with that? I happen to like following behind people. What about you, Boney? He's hiding something inside his doghouse. Flint got a stick! Yes, sir! Hey, Flint! That stick should make a good weapon in case anything happens. Be sure to equip it first, though. Just holding on to it make it useful as just a caramel. God, why am I so terrible at reading? So you said equip, right? An undeniably plain stick. I thought it was. A, I thought that said an undeniably puny stick. Here, I'll take it. All right, let's get this bread. Let's go! Wait! Yes, thank you very much. I would very much love it if you could save my game. Alright. Let's... Oh, shit. Let's get this bread! Hiya! Hey, what's good, G? Ah, Flint! The whole sky north of here is pitch black with smoke! Don't worry. We're gonna get this bread. I can assure you of it. Hey, what's good? If the forest catches on fire, Klaus and Lucas and Hanawa will be stuck out there. The sunshine for sunshine fire. It's on forest. No wait, the sunshine forest is on tire. Okay, I'm glad. I'm glad. I was like, am I reading this correctly? Nah, he's fumbling his own words. Ah, Flint. The sunshine forest is on fire. Oh, um, sh should I maybe give you a hand too? Damn straight, my G. Ah, wait! Um, I'm actually pretty busy, you know? No, I mean, um, you know how it is. S sorry. I'll leave everything to you today, Flint. Oh, come on! The more help, the better. Also, I, how did I fuck that up? Mr. Flint! You should probably take whatever Thomas says with a grain of salt. That's just c the kind of person he is. Come on, you're gonna really say that shit to Thomas? He's right behind me, you know? We're saying the Sunshine Forest is on fire. If that's true, we better get our butts out of here before the fire engulfs our village, too. Thomas, why, what are you running around acting like a siren for? Honestly, now. You better not cause too much trouble for Flint. Don't worry. He's with me, people. Let's get this bread. Actually, is it this way? Flint, the fire isn't that way. There's no time to get sidetracked. 
Hey, I'm sorry. I know you, you said north of here. Dog, come on. One second. One second, for the love of God, please. I know you said north of here, but hey, maybe north is actually right. You never know. If you need something from the map loving and map owning maps, then it must be a map, yes? Please, feel free to take one with you. You're worried about Light Lighter's shack deep in the Sunshine Forest, yes? I marked that area on the map for you. Please hurry and see if he needs help. Oh, well, silly me! Forget to tell you. Forgot to tell you how to check the map, didn't I? To check the map, you need to. How do I put this? Fill your index right index finger with a wish or strength. To put it more bluntly, I guess do something R buttonish. God. Hiccups, for fuck's sakes. Alright, this is the map. Yo, I don't know if this map is better or worse. That's good, older guy. Flint, took you long enough. Go check out the fire. Quickly, chop, chop. If the fire spreads here to Tasmali Village, my honor, my estate, and I will all go up in smoke. Literally. So go north. North, I say. North as in north, south, east, west. Why do you force me to explain such simple things to you? Oh, really? My analog does that? Also, I need to remember because I got one second, one second, please. I need to remember that. Um, oh, there's a frog there. Fuck. That I can't use my analog for movement. I have to use the keypad. Flint, the Sunshine Forest, which is to the west of the crossroad and past the prayer sanctuary, is apparently on fire like crazy. Oh, sorry, that sounded so explanation-like. Yo, his, his, they said his name is Abbott, right? Abbott as in the, the mayor's assistant from Earthbound Beginnings, huh? Mr. Flint, if you lose your way, be sure to check signposts and message boards. I'm telling you this out of the kindness of my heart, just so you know. Uh, I honestly should just, should just go there right now. Cause there's a lot of pe- Oh! <laughs> What's good, tall man? Hey, letter! Can you see the fire from there? Hey, I said! I see as as non-talkative as ever. Hey, at least he's ringing the bell. Good. Even if I did go on ahead, I just know I'd be no help at all. What should I do? Uh, let me tell you. Uh, ducking cover. The flames started coming our way, so we ran here with all our might. But old lighter and little fuel are stuck in the forest. <sighs> no, what are you doing? Quit pushing that. Quit it. Seriously, stop. Keep pushing it and I'll be sick. Why do you keep pushing it? See, you did it again! If you keep this, I'm gonna... Ugh. Just so you know, if something bad happens to me, it's all because you kept pressing that stupid thing. Pressing what? The left the left button? Flint, wait, hold up. Any responsible person heading into that first first stop by the sanctuary to say a little something to the forest gods. At least that's my opinion anyway. Is it is it so wrong of me to think that way? No man, you know, you have your beliefs and whatnot. Even though your beliefs may be shit, still beliefs. Pray. Pray and pray that for us and the people and the animals and I can and I can all have happiness. Wait, what? English, please. Or am I not reading this correctly again? All right, let me pray. Please answer with a calm mind. Please tell me your name. Yes, the name of the person playing this game. Is there no space button again? Oh, there is! That's what I like to see, baby! That's better. Finally, I have a space. Understood. Name is Pixelove, correct? That is indeed correct, yes sir. Okay then, please continue to enjoy the game. After I count down from three, you will forget you ever asked this question. Three, two, one. Have you forgotten? No. <laughs> you must forget. Still haven't forgotten, by the way. 
This is a big emergency, so I came out to help. But Ed won't let me through. I can be useful too, you know. I'm not just a some annoying onlooker. Where's the fire? Is it on fire? Oh, I bet it's a big, giant, foresty fire. All right, Ed, move through. Flint, thank heavens you're here. I think Lighter and Feel are still stuck inside the forest. Don't worry, I'll, her I'll hold back these rubber neckers. You just hurry and find them. <laughs> I feel like that was a little bit of an insult to them. All right, whatever you do, just don't breathe in with this all this smoke. Shit! How do I keep fucking this up? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Oh, it's you, Flint. I thought I saw someone as manly as me walking this way. Smoke is terrible. With my sensitive throat, I can't continue any further. So you can have this cookie instead. Let this slightly unclean and not very tasty cookie be of use. Please, let it be of use. A nut cookie. What kind of nut are we talking about? Peanut? A a macadamia nut? Oh, what? Mr. Batty. Yo, am I listening to fucking Batman music? Dun -na 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 -na. Excuse me? Why do you get to attack first? And Thomas, you're fucking worthless. <laughs> Come on, T Thomas. Felt a little strange, eh? And you're gone. That's what I like to see. Dun -na 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 dun -na 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 Tell me that tell me that that doesn't sound like the Batman music right there. Like 60s Batman music. So why do you get to smash me? What the hell? Beware of poisonous snakes. There should be antidotes somewhere around here. Jeez, really? Oh, it was good, G. What do you mean no problem here? The present's right here. Aries bracelet. I'll take it. How do I equip things again? Alright, there we go. Uh, no, not that one. A bracelet of the Aries Zodiac sign. Thank you very much. What is this? Kokori Hot Spring. There's no need to rush. Five seconds rejuvenates. Sparrow advice. Some people always try to avoid fighting when there are enemies around. You know the type, right? They use the dash ability to zoom right by. I guess you could say they're followers of peace at any price. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not saying that's how you are or anything. I just think that if you kept running away from everything now, later on when you have to fight, you'll have a really rough time because of your lack of experience. Always running off will only lead to regret, my young disciple. Please keep this in mind. Now to end this with a, not to end this with a sparrow-like chirp. Alright. Good advice, I guess. I mean, it's advice that I will obviously... Alright, it took me fucking forever to find it, where, where it is. Hot spring! Let's, yes, sir! Anyways. Relaxing in the hot spring made everyone in Flint's party feel alive again. I'm not the type of person to run away that often. Hell, I grind for crying out loud. Oh, Flint. Gah, I breathe in too much smoke. Lighter and the sun feel still aren't back yet. Pretty sure they're stuck inside the forest. Don't worry about me, go help them. Yeah, yeah, I will, I will. All right, we're finally in fire territory. Ow! The fire hurts! Oh. I guess I shouldn't be so surprised. Who the hell are you? What the fuck? A metal box like object is lying here. Can I go through? The flames are so intense that you can't get any closer. Okay, okay. Thank you for telling me that I can't get any closer. I'm pretty I would be the kind of guy to just go through a fire like that. But what the hell was that? A ya monster? Is this supposed to be like some sort of yam? A yam monster. He left a crap ton of experience, actually. Left the present, there's some nut bread. I'll take it. Now then, where am I supposed to be going? Up there. 
Yes, sir! We leveled up! Flint has a funny number HP! <laughs> I'll take some more nut bread, thank you very much. Oh shit, what happened here? You've never seen a bug like this before. Lighter! Hey, lighter! You alright? Can I just ask who <laughs> who named first of all who calls your son lighter and second of all who calls your son feel hello flint oh thomas damn it i try to beat these things up but more just kept coming i can't get past them what is that thing a bug don't know they're going around the forest lighting fires. Oh, never mind that. Feel's still at home. What? Feel's still in your shack? Flint, you go help Feel. I'll look after Lighter. Lighter's lumber. Flint, if you're gonna use that lumber as a weapon, be sure to equip it first. It's completely useless otherwise. Thank you very much, Lighter. Look at that. Lighter's favorite 4x4. Yo, what the hell? That doesn't look good. Uh, fuck off? Nope, they didn't fuck off. A firefly in its cohorts. Uh, get it? A firefly causes fire? Okay, so you're telling me that... Hey, yo, chill! <laughs> so you're telling me that... What I assumed is PSI fire. This is jack shit to me. But if they just go up to me and charge at me, they hit. It does big damage? Really? And you move as well. Mm -hmm. Man, things really have changed a lot. Also, what is this like saxophone esque sound that I'm hearing every time Flint attacks? Is he trying to add more to the music or whatnot? God damn it! These things take the dull beating to me. Kind of glad I had all my nut bread. Would you look at that? More nut bread. I really recommend you save now, will you? Jesus Christ! Where the hell did you come from, frog? Be care please be careful out there. My regards to the next frog. Look at him, he's just... Help! Oh, it's fuel. Shit, shit, shit! What the hell is that? What's that koala looking thing? Let me in! You could probably bust it open by ramming into it. Oh! fuck are you doing here you little rat also can I ransack this place actually I probably shouldn't wait a minute <laughs> yeah I just realized I was like wait a minute is that a rat with wings wait a minute when did you get to do a combo attack who gave you the opportunity to combo who gave you the chance to combo me Come on, Flint. Please don't. Please don't take a beating. I only have one piece of nut bread left. Sir, level 9. Okay, it doesn't look like I can really ransack this place, so... Not really worth my... Not really worth my time. Shit. Right there. Alright, hold on, Fuel. Fallen support beam is blocking the wave. Fuck! How do I get to him? Come on, think, 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 Flint, think. Ram into them, Mr. Flint. Sir, we got fuel. All right, let's get the hell out of here. 
don't want you to get hurt or anything like that. Chit, 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 chit. Well, there's not really much I can do about your home fuel. That doesn't sound good. Well, lighter and fuel, guess you're homeless. <laughs> I'm pitch black and covered in suit, but I'm alive. Oh, you're pitch black too, Mr. Flint. Thank you, Mr. Pitch Black Flint. Thank you so, so, so much, Mr. Pitch Black Flint. Oh, yeah. We need to let my dad know I'm okay. He's probably worried sick about me somewhere. Yep, he probably is. And I need a shower desperately. Alright. Is this thing still not open yet? Really? Right, what if I can take a really nice quick hot spring showers? Would that get rid of the suit off of me? Because I really don't want to bring back fuel with all this soot. Nope, didn't work at all. <laughs> I mean, it worked, <laughs> it worked a bit. Oh no, Flint's racist now. Both Flint and Fuel are racist. They're wearing blackface! Oh no. Move out of the way, people! Flint! You're pitch black and covered in soot, but you're alright! Being the responsible man I am, I managed to bring lighter here! Hurry and let him see fuel. Jeez, no thanks to you. No thanks to you at all, Thomas. Dead! That voice. Is that you, Fuel? You're alright? What the? What in the world happened to you? Unfortunately, Lighter, he became. You're pitch black and covered in soot! What about you, Dad? You busted your leg. Oh, this? This ain't nothing. All I gotta do is twist this like so and then do this. Ow! 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 it! Boss, what in the world are you doing? Fixing my injuries, obviously. What does it look like? Anyways, we sure our lucky Flint showed up when he did. Yeah, he and Lighter have always been quarreling buddies since they were kids. It's enough to make me jealous. Thanks, Flint. Guess I showed my not-so-tough side, huh? I owe you one for today. I think that could be the first time I've ever heard the boss thank anyone. <laughs> You're right. The only thing that can make this any stranger is if it suddenly started pouring rain. Yes, sir! We got rain! <laughs> and now it's starting to rain. Maybe this can clean our soot face. But, sir, yes, sir, it did. Let's just hope this rain puts out the fire. We need to tend to lighter. Let's head back to the back to the village for now. Well, job well done, Flint. You saved lighter and you saved fuel. You didn't stop the fire per se, but <laughs> you did what you could. There you are, Flint. You're all patched up now. It's a good thing you and Fuel only suffered light injuries. It's been a while since Tasmania at last had rain. Flint, please go get some nice rest. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I think Flint has had enough for today. So, if you liked the video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, Memento Mori and whatnot, and I will see you guys in the next episode of Mother 3. Maybe you can see what happens with Lucas, Klaus, and Hanar or whatnot. Anyways, take care, everybody.